UFC 257's atmosphere between the two rivals was more of a buddy romance than a heated rivalry, trading both hot sauce and liquor with each other prior to their highly anticipated rematch. The bad blood would soon boil up when Dustin Poirier exposed the fact that Conor McGregor failed to live up to his promise in donating half a million to his charity, the Good Fight Foundation. Since then, much back and forth has been happening between the American and the Irishman via social media, with both fighters posting meme-like images and clever punchlines to get under each other's skin before their trilogy bout. Conor McGregor would soon release a tweet attempting to set his own rules in his favour for UFC 264, which Dustin Poirier responded to during his interview with Beck Okamoto for ESPN MMA. Conor McGregor would react angrily to Dustin Poirier's comments with the following tweets stating, Best box of my ass, shooting ass, shelling ass, bitch. Quick take for you and your team, pal. You just got pucked around in the clinch. Elbows, knees, shoulders, fists. Looking outside the cage for advice. Hashtag striker turned wrestler. Hashtag dusty bitch. Three fights against me for any man is an early grave. God bless. Hands together emoji. As we know, Conor is not a massive fan of fighters that possess a strong background in wrestling. A prime example would be Short Notice fight against NCAA Division wrestler Chad Mendes for UFC 189. Many fans believe if Chad Mendes had a full training camp, he would have been the first fighter to hand Conor McGregor his first loss in the UFC. Despite winning, this fight would expose Conor McGregor's major weakness in dealing with wrestlers who would damage his gas tank significantly. This would be amplified by a thousand percent against the beast himself, Khabib Nurmagomedov at UFC 229. Despite Conor McGregor making many of us believe he trained significantly to counter Khabib's elite caliber wrestling and begged Khabib to wrestle with him, it was all smoke and mirrors, as we saw the Irishman be ragdolled all around the octagon very easily. That's where he knows that he was able to easily take down Conor McGregor at UFC 257 and given Conor McGregor's questionable gas tank, it's maybe a tactic for the diamond to bank on in securing that second win. Here's Dustin Poirier reacting to Conor McGregor's wrestling tweet which angered him deeply. When you see him posting things on social media where he lost that fight, but he's still coming back and almost talking trash about that fight, saying you were backing up, you shot in the first 30 seconds. Like, what, what, what is your reaction to that? For, he just said something on his first one that shoots a dusty That's what he said, yeah? Mm -hmm. Isn't he the one who's always preaching about the flow, the full martial arts, no holds barred, no rules, the, the ultimate fighting, like when he's talking about boxing and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. How about the first one to get taken down is a dusty This is mixed martial arts. Uh, put it all together. It's uh, it reeks of insecurity to me. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. All of us are non-stop and may hope you have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, please drop us a like and recommend us to a friend. It honestly means a lot. If you didn't, that's completely fine. But please provide us with your feedback instead of a dislike so we can improve the growth and quality of our channel for the future. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys on the flip. And let us run that funny clip. Will you believe everything is possible?